Hey everyone, welcome to Small Screen Reactions. My name is Andrew and I'm here to react to Scrubs Season 1, Episode 4. Very excited to watch this. I love the first three episodes and I'm excited to see what's going to happen. So, before we get into this, <clears throat> please don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out Patreon. The link is down below in the description box. If you want to watch these episodes fully uncut, way, way early, before they're on YouTube, and, 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 if you want Patreon exclusive shows, shows that are only on Patreon, go check it out, okay? Other than that, I hope you enjoy this, and without further ado, here we go. Let it go? No, I don't want to let it go. It's a simple question. Why wouldn't I want to go to the same? Oh, God. No, I, I didn't mean anything by it. Oh, of course you meant something. She put her phone in her mouth again. Think about this. No, we really don't. Come on, no. Carla's your girlfriend. Aileen's my friend. Dude, trust me. Yeah, don't get in the middle of it. Oh, it's she's from El Barrio. She must not like music. All I'm saying is that classical music isn't for everyone. Oh, so because I didn't grow up with a nanny changing my Vera Wang diaper. Uh. Oh, no. You got something to say? Oh, no. Well, yes, frankly, I think oh, you're being don't. condescending and you're being oversensitive. JD. You know, it's really ironic that you're accusing me of being condescending. Wow. Wow. Nobody asked you for advice. If anybody wanted advice, I certainly wouldn't have asked you. Look, you know what? Let me for a second. One second. <laughs> so when she grew up in the body, she must not like classical music. All I'm saying is that classical Let's try this music again. isn't for everyone. Oh. I didn't grow up with a nanny changing my Vera Wang diaper. Did you take that? You got something to say? Why would you do it again? Nope, not this time. Well, yes, frankly. Oh, he can't help it. You it's know, really it's ironic that you're accusing me of being kind of funny. Nobody asked you for a card. I said it. Yeah, he fucked up. <laughs> Here's something that's kind of surprising. On my first day, my resident told me, if you don't count the maternity ward, which is mostly, well, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or the one out of every three patients that's admitted to this place. We'll die here. Wow. Oh, uh, which one? Damn. Sure, he's young, but he's probably a very good doctor. Well, are you a good doctor? I got it too soon to tell. Oh. I like that. Okay. You probably would wait on stuff. Yeah. That'd be nice. Make him know you're a man. There you go, you got this. Uh, would you guys mind? I'm fine where I am, thank you. Make me. Wow, okay. You got this, JD. Everybody out of here. Wake up the dead. Good job. Now. <laughs> well, that was manly. Very. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Want a hard candy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, this is embarrassing. You guys are wearing the same outfit. Don't sweat it, I'm not wearing pants. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, come on, that was funny. Great, moving on. Wow. Where are you guys going? ESPN Classic show on the 82 NFC Championship. It's the catch. We can have some nurses over. <laughs> I, I called down and requested a Spanish-speaking nurse. So, no English, huh? <laughs> I'm a chunky monkey from Funky Town. Oh, God. I'm going to have a little trouble translating that. <laughs> oh, good. It's you. Oh, God. Keep it up nice and dry. Neat. Dude, the 1930s called and they want their lingo back. Uh -huh. I don't know, we had like this connection. I don't know, your dance moves aren't exactly impressive either. <laughs> Let me get my sweat on. Surgeon. Oh, it's him working out. Maybe it makes it harder to cut someone open. Maybe it's just too risky. I don't know. Yeah, the bedside manner like for not as much. Incredible energy and, and warmth. Dude. League of Women Voters called, and they want to know where to send your membership info. Damn. You're using that somebody Rude. calls joke. What's his name? Well, his name is Hernia Patient. Yeah. <laughs> but we've got a close, so I like to call him Hernia. Ah. He must feel so safe. Yeah. And Carol. Shut up. <laughs> I paid your doctor because it's amazing that your fancy private school didn't teach you any Spanish, considering huh? that a third of your patients speak it as a primary language. <laughs> Damn. Like every doctor here speaks Spanish. Hola, Senora Guerrero. Exactly, say? yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to run that by you. One. Two. What? Three. So should I continue it's with really important that you let me get to ten. Okay. Listen. Let him get to ten. I've been here over a month. This is Medicine 101. I don't want every little thing run by me. I don't <laughs> want my two cents worth. Oh, God. Ever do one. Rest assured, it will always be that you're an incredible pain. And that every time I see your mm. cute pee doll, it just makes me want to pick you up and shake you until oh, all damn. the hours of my life that you've wasted fall out. Damn. 
Not laugh. Like, laugh. Laugh so that she doesn't think I'm yelling at you. Yeah. Right? <laughs> 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 how, how fun was that? Yeah, that was pretty fun. Of course, one of our frequent flyers. She's a neat lady. That's what I said. Uh -huh. likes a brown nose. <laughs> <laughs> this janitor hates him. <laughs> Love it. Ah. How do you not get that, JD? Come on. Even I got that. I'm awful with the shades. These lamps don't look good. I think it's time she got started on diamonds. <laughs> oh, but you know what you should do first, kiddo? Oh. Find her. That would be helpful, yeah. <laughs> Damn, lady. <laughs> Went to the park? Just go into the park, leave a little note in the hospital bed. Went to the park. <laughs> it's the catch. The catch? I say catch, no response. How could no one in this hospital know what the catch is? <laughs> Nine I don't. Cowboys, Joe Mott in the end zone, zero time left. Kid, please. Don't insult me. <laughs> hey, come on, man. It's the fourth quarter. You got a minute? He's going to get close to his patient, and then he's going to die. Sure. Cool. David, right? Yeah. I'm Turk. What's up? You want some IV? No, I'm good. <laughs> sure? <laughs> but when you're under my care, you stay in the hospital until I say it's okay for you to leave. We saved your plate. I don't care about <laughs> food right now. Oh my god, are those s'mores? Oh. Samantha's fifth birthday. Now you're not gonna make me miss this, are you? She the girl from Cheap by the Dozen? Couldn't you have got her a big cake? <laughs> it is a giant cake. I'm gonna order an ABG today. Like, would you mean tell her she's doing fine? Um, okay. Say, um, esta. Oh god, no. Progresando. This is Gerardo. Um, esta progresando muy bien. <laughs> okay, that actually sounded right. It worked. All right, listen. The important thing to remember is this is not going to hurt as much as you think. I'm what? ready. What are you about to do? No, no, don't launch him. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no, he's bonding with them. If he dies, he'll never bond with the patient again. Okay, you know what, Mrs. Tanner? Just until they Samantha blows out her candles. They still haven't blown out the candles and eaten the cake yet? Um, uh, a bike? Nope. A dollhouse? Nope. How about the ability to make quick decisions? <laughs> uh, no. How about this? Oh! Well, oh yeah, with the candles on there? Yeah, oh, who's that? Right now, we need to be worried about your mother. Your grandmother. Your... I'm sorry, we, we have a <laughs> Dorian. Increase the heifer to 1,500 units per hour. Does that sound like enough? Should be. Why do you have to question it every time? Be confident. Right. You slept with Turk yet? What? Oh. I'm sorry. I'm no. I'm sorry. Too personal. Ray right out of nowhere. It's so bad he basically thinks he isn't gonna get it ever. <laughs> then when he's lost the will to live, that's when I jump in. There you go. So Good job. How long does that usually? A month, maybe two. Okay. What about you? I like to use sex as an icebreaker. <laughs> and how's that working out for you? Very well. I have what you would call high self-esteem. <laughs> you think? Look at that bonding, though. Okay. It's what things are going better. You know you're, you got it. you're so lost. You're not lost. Go left here. It's a right. <laughs> this is Cooper's like three times already. Just stop and ask for directions. Do you want He's getting lost thing? inside him. Pull, I will pull this thing open and let you drop this thing. <laughs> Go back to where you just were. What is it? Something bad? Tumor? What is that? Hey. Oh no, no, she's not doing well. Oh shit. And take a look at So that's basically it. Your kidneys aren't responding to medication. Is she gonna be the one that dies now? Because she's the only one that looks like she's dialysis. doing fine. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of dialysis. Yeah. <laughs> Most people probably aren't. Well, actually I do have a choice. Technically, she could just not do it. I expect to come out of a person's mouth. I think I'm ready to die. Wow. When you know, you know, I guess. What? Oh. <laughs> Doesn't look like there's anything on the screen there.
What if all three of them die? You shut your mouth at some point. Sweetie, I'm 74 years old. I'm ready to go. And you know, you know. I don't blame her. You live another 80 or 90 years. No. I think you're being a little irrational. Yeah. No, I'm not. <laughs> they die sometimes. Yeah. No, they don't. It's got to happen eventually. I think we're really lucky we found the lymphoma when we did. Oh. He's a patient of mine. Dave's a good kid. Boy, it sounds terrific. You two becoming best pals, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what we should do? The three of us should play a game of stickball. Oh, God. Sir? A stick and a ball and a pocket full of green. <laughs> we could take turns bowling your patient down the This hallway. man, oh, he heard. And explain, that's... Spare me. Spare you. That's because <laughs> of the bowling thing. That's... <laughs> yeah, he's not joking, no. I just think he's a good kid, and I really thought he needed a friend. Young man, your patients don't need friends. They need a doctor. Why not, Bo? He's dropping. You don't have to be friends, but you're friendly. If you were her doctor, what would you do? That's way out of my league. Yeah, really. you're the doctor. Waiting, she seems to be decomposing. She needs to know what's going on. Uh, oh, I'll be right back. You gotta be more confident. You gotta know. Stop being scared of any way. Yeah, what is that? Well, if she declines dialysis, then there is no ethical dilemma. Yeah, you just well, let her go. Doctors, do everything in our power. You give her the information. This has nothing to do with the patient. It's all about you. Yeah, you're you the one that's doesn't are afraid of death, and you yeah. can't. You're in medicine. You gotta accept the fact that everything we do here, everything, yeah. is a stall. Eventually, they all die. That's it. But ultimately, it always ends up the same way. Yep. <laughs> I win. Here, diagonal. Mm -hmm. Pretty sneaky death. <laughs> he has quite the imagination. So that Dr. Kelso guy really came down on you, huh? Yeah. But he's got a point. This is a hospital. It's not a playground. <laughs> Isn't the Madura Island guy? That's about 50 points there, wouldn't you say? I won? I'll just take your food cup and be on my way. <laughs> I talked to my dad today. Oh. That nurse came by to shave me. Hey, I didn't tell her to do that. You didn't? No. I think she's got a crush on you. Oh, he's he doesn't want to tell him. And Come on, dude. What's going he on? He knows what's going Yeah, he knows something. Okay. Uh, here's the deal. Damn. She's telling her family. There's nothing that can make me go in there right now. <laughs> uh, the family or him? Which one do you want? <laughs> this man is crazy. Besides, it just gave me a bunch of reasons to change my mind. Speaking of which, I took the liberty jotting down a few things I think uh. everybody should do at least once. Okay, number one, eat a sausage and pepper hoagie from Enrico. Sure. Well, of course I've done that. <laughs> go to Asia. Yeah. Nice. Can we go to Kyoto? Nice. I want to take that as a yes, and I'll also uh, check off, learn a foreign language. Yeah. She's hiding. What the hell Can't happened hide. to I'll be right back? I can't believe I actually started to think I've been wrong about you. That woman needs her doctor to tell her something, anything. She's you scared. Wanna... Either way, I get a cold drink, right? And it would be almost impossible for me to kill someone with this decision, but I still can't make it. She's afraid of making decisions, choosing the wrong one. Look, I don't think these kinds of decisions are easy for anyone. Yeah. And if it's any consolation, one of the reasons I never liked you is because you're already better at this than most of the doctors that come through here. Wow, look at her. I don't like being the only smart, strong chick in the gym. <laughs> Complimenting sort of just her. Just complimented me. Sort of, yeah. A little bit. <laughs> and that cloud isn't going anywhere on its own, so let's push the throttle legs. Okay. All right. Here we go. Making decisions. Go to the top of the Eiffel Tower. Then. Wow, five. she's done it all. Go to the top of. How many pages? Now you're making stuff up. No, I'm not. It's right here. You can look at it. Listen, Dr. Dorian, there is not one thing I regret as I lay here right now. She's done all she's wanted. She doesn't want to fight anymore to survive. Now, aren't there other patients you need to be seeing? Me? No, no. I've, I've been off for two hours. Uh, so with your precious free time, I know, right? in the hospital room talking to an yeah, old lady. Sorry, no, no patient's good enough to stay after time. For that matter, how many times you've sat on the grass and done nothing, hmm? You need to start taking some time for yourself then. Yeah, enjoy life a little. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
What are you doing? Okay. I'm scared. The fact that she has to make him feel better when she's the one dying. Oh, wow. All three? I just wanted you to know that she went very peacefully. Damn. No, you did everything you could. All three died. I can't tell you how glad I am he had a friend here with him. Aww. Don't second guess yourself. You made the right call. You did. Things happen. Three patients admitted to this place will die here. But some days the odds are worse than that. Yeah. I'm really so sorry. Sometimes all three die. That, I guess the best you can hope for is that you took something from it. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to be nice to them and give them something happy to think about in case they do die. They have a friend around them. Have to do. Enjoy the day a little bit through the bad stuff. This was a nice episode. Very much a very heartfelt episode like the other ones have been really just comedy filled this one was like it was funny but it was heartfelt and gave like a little bit of emotion there you have these doctors facing their first like all facing their patients uh, each all three of them having their own patients and all of them dying and they all learn something different from it like Turk learns that being close to a patient is not a bad thing it's giving someone comfort in the time of need. Making them feel better. Having a friend around if they do die. Um, and then JD learned that you gotta enjoy life a little more. And that you don't want to just be stuck in the hospital. You gotta enjoy like the old lady. She enjoyed life and she was ready. She had done it all. She had done stuff. She had f felt fulfilled. Co finished. Complete. And he needed to do that a little more. And then what's her name? Whose name I can never remember for some reason. Um, I really cannot. I have to look it up. Um, because I don't know. I always forget her name. Okay, Reed. Elliot. Yeah, it's Elliot Reed. Okay. I'll call her Reed. Yeah. Uh, Reed learned to be more confident with her decisions and to not, like, she's more confidence, really, in that confidence helps a lot and that she has to trust her gut and what she knows. Um, they all learned a lot in, in Reed and Carla. They bonded and got closer, which was really nice. It was a very nice episode with a lot of growth for these characters and developments between characters. Very nice. I liked it. It was definitely a different pace than the last three. But I like that. I'm excited to see what's, what, what, if we're going to get more episodes like this. Maybe it's just every couple episodes we get an episode like this or it's going to be a combination. I don't know. We'll see. So, thank you guys for watching. I really hope you have en enjoyed my reactions to Scrubs so far. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and check out Patreon. The link down below in the description box. And have a fantastic day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.